2017 is where we saw the last main Mario title, and the Donkey Kong series is starting to die off, it seems like. Will we see another one of these games in the near future? How's it going, guys? My name is Acinator, coming at you live with another video. And in today's video, I just want to be talking about will we see another, you know, sort of main series game from either one of these two soon? Will it be shown at the Direct in June, if it even does come, or will it just be put off to the next Switch? But before I do dive in, if you guys do enjoy today's video at any given point, please smash that thumbs up button if you guys do agree with anything I say. With that out of the way, let's just dive right in. And this is so frustrating to even think about that, you know, every single Nintendo franchise, I feel, is getting a lot more love than the guy who started it all. And it's just crazy that, you know, we're not getting anything, like, at all. And I get it, the Mario movie just came out. And if you guys want to see how to make a grown man cry in 2023, watch the Mario movie. And trust me, I mean, I almost cried because there were so many references. And I can't say them because I don't want to, you know, spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. But that movie was incredible, and that was Nintendo's biggest focus when it does come to the Mushroom Kingdom. But a movie can only do so much, and it's not like you can replay the movie and expect something new. I mean, you can, like, with references if you only watched it once and you really didn't watch the thing after, but that's it. And with a game, at least you can do more stuff and experience it, like on a 30-plus hour adventure and complete challenges and... Do all this crazy stuff and, you know, do anything you want because it's a game, you know? I mean, you guys know what I'm trying to say. But the fact that we have not even gotten a slightest tea... You know what? I think we've gotten... You know, this is the funny part. I think we've gotten more Nintendo Switch Pro leaks ever than any Mario game that's came out on the Switch. And it's like, how do we get more Nintendo Switch Pro leaks than the guy who started it all for the company? with Mario Bros on the NES, and it's just crazy that we're still, us Mario fans that is, is still sitting here waiting for something new. That is what aggravates me. And like I said, I'll talk about Donkey Kong in a second, but like, where are all the teasers? And where's all like, you know, the, the where's even like a special edition of the Switch OLED? Like we've gotten a Pokemon, we've gotten a Splatoon one. We've also gotten a, uh, what's the other one? Link one, sorry, Breath of, sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. We've gotten three before we've even gotten the uh, Mario Switch OLED one, and I will actually buy that one. I, I have a Switch OLED now, but I'll buy that one for the Mario because I love Mario, and he's cured me for, like, so much stuff in the past, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, you're failing me now, brother, you're failing me now. But, like, here's a quick little story for you guys, and you guys might get a kick out of this. So, in 2017, I graduated high school, and trust me, you know, I was really happy to walk that stage, but I wish I could go back, there's so many great memories, and Mario Odyssey released then, and it's crazy that I can say to the world that I played Mario Odyssey when I was 18, and sitting here now when I'm 24, where is the next one? Like, it's so crazy that we're just, mm, I, okay. Negatives aside, let's talk about Donkey Kong for a minute as well. I'll make this short and sweet. We've barely seen any Donkey Kong as well. And, you know, I guess, like, what they're doing with Super Nintendo World is they're making a Donkey Kong expansion, but only a certain amount of people can visit that. I mean, I don't live anywhere near Universal Studios. I'm, like, on the East Coast. And some of you guys know what state I live in because I've said it before, but, like... I'm like 1,000 miles away. I can't just go, you know, fly to Universal to go visit these attractions. It only appears to a small amount of people. And it's just like, you're advertising stuff, but why not advertise stuff that the whole world can enjoy? And it's just crazy that we're all just, you know, waiting for the next Mario game, the next Donkey Kong game, or if they're going to collab and do it together, kind of like the Mario movie where they team up and they take on, oh, Yep, I'm, I'm gonna stop right there because I don't want to spoil, you know, yeah, but yeah, you guys get what I'm trying to say here But it's just uh, I, Okay, negatives aside Let's talk about some of the positives because I don't want this video to all be about negative stuff because that's not who I am I'm not, I'm not really a negative person. So Whenever Nintendo does create a video game, it's always a good product and they always put their heart and their soul into the games. Now, I get it. Some like the uh, way that they do advertising and the business models. I mean, this is not just Nintendo. 
is not the greatest, but like it's games that are somewhat are mostly finished and they're actually good products and I really do enjoy playing each and every single one of them. Like when's like the not last game that you could say that is truly a bad game? Like it was terrible, you wanted to sell it right away. The first hour you played, you're like, this is garbage, I'm selling it to GameStop. I don't think anyone, unless you count like the older games like Hotel Mario, but I'm talking like the current stuff. And it's just, you know, mind blowing that, you know, the games that they put out are still quality and they're not falling into the microtransaction, you know, sort of crap. Honestly, that's impressive. And who knows, maybe they'll do it soon and we'll all be doomed that we have to waste our credit cards and whatever the case is going to be when it does come to the next Nintendo game at this point. And I'm hoping for the Nintendo Direct that we see at least something from one of these two franchises. And I'm like having really high hopes because Tears of the Kingdom is now out. And without you know maybe splatoon 3 is now out and maybe metroid prime 4 which you know i will get excited over but not as excited as like a mario uh mario game or a donkey kong game i have really high hopes when it does come to the next nintendo direct and one of these two franchises could actually be shown along with maybe a switch pro i have no idea but that's that's nonsense at this point so that's gonna do it for today's video guys you know i just wanted to be like you know up and honest with you guys talking about like where is this going and how much you know this is killing all of us as fans for the mario franchise so yeah let me know if you guys agree with anything that i said here but that's gonna be it for the video guys so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys did as always smash the thumbs up button if you guys do want free plumbing service from the mario bros please consider subscribing to the channel if you guys do want more but that out of the way i just want to say thank you guys so much stay healthy stay clean Bye.